Hey everyone, just want to talk a little bit about choosing between two tools, Excel and Google Data Studio. Um, these two tools are sort of the jumping off point a lot of people have when they're starting on a data visualization project. Um, they are quite different, but they're both free or relatively free tools uh, that have a not too steep learning curve. It's, it's a great place to start if you're, uh, if you're building a dashboard. And I want to just explain how I choose between the two of them and give you guidelines for choosing yourself. So the basic, uh, the basic takeaway is this. If you want to skip the rest of the video, this is the, this is the, the guideline you can use. If you are connecting to uh, Google Data Source, Google Analytics, uh, YouTube Analytics, BigQuery, or you're connecting to a database, MySQL, Cloud SQL, Amazon Redshift, whatever, um, you're going to probably want to start in Data Studio. And if you are doing a lot of manual data processing, uh, if you're pulling in data from lots of different places, copy pasting it, and then adjusting it, whatever, you're probably going to want to start in Excel. Uh, I'll go into more detail, but that's the basic premise you're going to want to use. So uh, what I've got in front of me here is a dashboard. This is a dashboard built entirely in Excel. And this dashboard, uh, it looks complex, but it's not as bad as you'd think. It's really shapes, uh, text, um, and then pivot charts uh, layered on top. Um, and you can build a pretty cool dashboard that way. A lot of people just don't use any of the visual, visual design tools uh, that are available in Excel. And if you use them, you can build something pretty impressive. Um, so if you know how to create a table, that's the first thing in Excel. And then with a table, you can then create a pivot chart or pivot tables. You probably know enough to start making a pretty impactful uh, dashboard or start building data visualizations. Um, and the reason it's so important to consider if you're manually processing data is because that going out, pulling data, copy pasting it and adjusting it, that process can be really hard to automate. Uh, so if you are, you know, doing a lot of manual work, automating it could be a huge pain and you're going to learn early on as you grab this data and copy paste it and adjust it, what the constraints are and how much work it takes to kind of get the data in the format you need. And that's going to pay dividends down the line if you try to automate this process or move to a bigger, more complex, more expensive tool to build a more complex dashboard. Um, now on the flip side, if you're in a situation where you're connecting to a database or a Google tool, Data Studio is probably a better bet for you. Um, Data Studio is a very different tool. It is a purpose-built BI tool. And what I mean by that is it's set up in such a way to kind of automatically pull data from different sources and make a dashboard that updates dynamically and automatically uh, without you having to manually do anything. So first, conceptually, how does data get into Data Studio? That's kind of something that I think people struggle to understand. And what Data Studio is doing is it's got a series of connectors. And those connectors go out to whatever service you're using, Google Analytics, Google Ads, um, HubSpot, whatever. It goes out and it pulls your, pulls your data in and structures it in such a way that allows you to process it and do data visualizations with it. It structures it properly for you. And it goes in and it does that process on a regular basis. Let's say every 15 minutes or something, it'll go out and it pulls that data, make sure it's updated and you have the freshest, newest data all pulled together without having to do any manual work. So those connectors, there are two different types. Google connectors, which Google has built, and paid connectors, which are partner connectors, which are built by other, uh, other companies uh, and allow you to connect to more data sources. But so Google already has a bunch of great connectors here. You've got analytics, ads, sheets, BigQuery, uh, Redshift, Cloud SQL, MySQL, uh, Postgres SQL, like all this stuff, there's a ton available. Um, but if you also have something like you've got one table from one weird service you use where you're manually having to pull, it, pull the data and copy paste it in, you can also just upload a CSV file. So like you can make a little file in Excel and just upload that to Data Studio and it'll be available alongside all your other data. Um, paid connectors allow you to connect to way more too. 
Now, I'm, there's like a lot of services here that you can connect to. I can't even begin to get into it, but let's just say if you're thinking about using Data Studio for your project, hop in, look at the connectors that are available and see if the connector for all of the data sources you're using is available in there. Um, you'd be surprised, there's, a, there's more than you might expect. So once all that data has been data has been pulled into Data Studio, Data Studio is structuring it properly. It's making sure the date is structured right and the granularity of the data is correct and the dimensions are consistent and all that stuff. And what you're doing is you're essentially pulling in the dimension and the metric you want and it's creating a chart for you that is then getting updated automatically. So in this case, we've got like a scorecard here. I'm grabbing the metric I want, dragging it over into the metric section and that metric shows up. Uh, I can do the same with a bar chart or a line chart. And then I can add things to it like filters or date range selectors. Um, I can get even more complex if I want. Let's say you have data from multiple sources. You have uh, maybe impressions from Twitter, you have impressions from TikTok, and you have impressions from your blog. You can then blend that data together it's a little more complex, but Data Studio will then automatically, once you have your blend set up, blend that data for you. And instead of you having to manually process things, you will automatically get a metric that is updated on a consistent basis. Um, I'll show you just a little example of what blends look like in Data Studio. This is the, this is the interface for it. You essentially can add multiple tables together and then go through and select what you want uh, which metrics or uh, dimensions you want to combine to start making blended metrics or dimensions that will show up on your dashboard. It's pretty impressive stuff. In a free tool, it's kind of unparalleled. Um, but there's a learning curve, right? Data Studio is a new tool for most people. Most people already have used Excel before, so they're not starting from zero when they use Excel. But when they use Data Studio, they often are starting from zero. It's a whole new system to learn. Uh, there are a ton of tutorials out there. Uh, they're very good ones, totally free. Just look on YouTube and you'll find a lot. Or there is a Data Studio template gallery. This is one of my templates from the template gallery. I built it back when Data Studio was brand new. And you can go and grab templates like this and start looking at them and pulling them apart and understanding how things are built. It's one of the easiest ways to learn, I think, uh, if you're just getting into Data Studio. So just to recap, if you are manually pulling in lots of data and processing it by hand, start in Excel. Uh, it's gonna make your life easier and it's gonna kind of highlight the pain points and friction points that you need to highlight so you know what you're getting into if you're gonna start building a dashboard or a report that you're updating on a regular basis. If you're connecting to databases or connecting to Google tools or just wanting to automate the whole process from the start, you're probably going to want to start in Data Studio and you're probably going to have a better time starting in Data Studio and build something that's a little more useful. Um, they're both great tools, just different use cases. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, I am just getting back to it after a really nasty case of COVID, uh, but it's great starting to make videos again and uh, starting to uh, dive back into a little bit of data visualization content. If you want templates like the ones that you see in this video, I have a newsletter. I'll put a link below and I send out templates on that newsletter. I've got Data Studio templates I send out sometimes, Excel templates I send out, and soon I'll be sending out Google Sheets templates as well. And it's all intended for you to have an opportunity to pull them apart, deconstruct them, and see how they're built so you can start building them yourself. Um, if you have any questions, if you're trying to make this decision yourself between these two different tools, let me know below and I'll, uh, I'll try to get back to you and, let, and answer your questions as best I can. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Have a great week and uh, I'll, I'll see you all next week.